Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have found one research paper where some scientists are claiming that they have found one technique which is absolute zero technique and with this technique we can build a super intelligent system and we can call it a AGI. Okay. And it is completely different from the traditional LLM training method where human dependency is required. But with this absolute zero reasoner technique, there is no human dependency where you see removes all human dependency. In this traditional LLM training methods, we apply this kind of things like supervised fine tuning and this reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards. It is RLVR technique. And with these two techniques, we build the traditional LLM uh, models, right? But here the problem is that uh, it is completely dependent on human, but we are making AI smarter. So for that, we need some things that is not dependent on human. And that's why this absolute zero reasoner have this kind of methods, task proposal, task solving, environment feedback and self play and this is the loop that it will execute and here it will create the problem itself it will solve the problem itself and also it will use the algorithm that is provided and it will verify that the input and output are actually correct or not suppose you have given this uh, absolute zero reason technique one algorithm which will do the addition and you have given a input 4 okay now it will guess that in how many ways we can achieve the 4 with the addition algorithm like we can achieve by 3 plus 1 or by 2 plus 2 so in this way there are multiple steps we can achieve right so here you see that uh, current challenges in LLM training is that both methods means this supervised fine tunings and this RVLR face scalability issues because creating high quality data sets is labor intensive and may not keep pace with advancing AI capabilities. So that's why we have this solution absolute zero technique and it eliminates the dependency on external data by enabling a single model to act as both task proposer and task solver learning through self play with verifiable feedback from an environment and now if i compare this technique with a real life example here you see imagine you are preparing for a competitive exam and for that exam you are writing your own practice question means you don't have the practice question book you are writing your own practice question and you are solving that yourself and now that answer is correct or not for that you have one online calculator or this code evaluator to check your answer okay and you skip very easy or impossible question and focus on learnable ones and that's that is the reward logic okay and now if i show you one another thing here you see that uh, this absolute zero technique has these four components task proposal so this model generates task tailored to its current capabilities ensuring they are neither too easy or no, not too hard okay and this is the concept of learnability so you are generating the question yourself and that question is not too easy or not too hard okay now the next phase is task solving the model attempts to solve this task receiving rewards based on the correctness means you have that uh, feedback program right this is the environment feedback a verifiable environment means a code executor validates both the proposed task and the solution providing the objective rewards. So if you see this uh, diagram, here you see this is the diagram that they are suggesting. If you, if you can understand this diagram then this absolute zero uh, technique is actually very uh, easy technique. Divide this uh, diagram in two sections. First one is this uh, first half. Okay, so this is the first half and this is the second half. Okay, now let's discuss this first half. So in the first half, we have this propose and in the second half, we have this solve methods. So now if I show you propose phase means the top half. So in this propose phase, it generates a new task 
like designing a quiz for itself and it selects a task type like uh, abduction, deduction and induction and this is the three uh, task type that they have defined. By the way, I am discussing this whole entire research paper as a simple language uh, so that you can understand because if I go line by line through this uh, whole research paper then it might be difficult for you to understand so that's why I have written some documentation here so that uh, you can understand in easy language okay now let's continue here you see that these are the three uh, tax type like for this abduction you are giving the program and the output and you are asking it what should be the input okay and in this deduction you are giving the program and the input and you are asking what is the output and in this induction you are giving the input and output and you are asking what should be the uh, logic or what should be the program means uh, suppose you have this uh, input like 3 plus 1 and you have the output 4 and now you are asking this uh, that uh, this model that uh, what should be the algorithm the addition should the algorithm should be the addition algorithm so that we can achieve 3 plus 1 equals to 4 i hope you got it okay now here you see that uh, the next is construct and estimate what is that here you see a z r a z r means the absolute zero reasoner technique checks if the task is valid by executing code using python this verifies the proposed task and evaluates how challenging it is means you have created the task right so now there should be one algorithm so that that algorithm can uh, verify that the task you have given is valid or not right and uh, here you see that there is a learnability reward learnability reward is here okay so what is that here you see if the task is too easy or too hard and uh, for that you will give zero reward okay and just right means the challenging but solvable so it will get the high reward okay and this reward trains the proposer to create a better and more educational task means uh, suppose uh, for this four like what we were discussing like three plus three plus one is equals to four two plus two is also equals to four okay but uh, uh, if, if i want to get the four in another way like half plus half means one by two plus one by two and plus uh, three then in that case it will be little much uh, little bit difficult right so it is also doing these things that it is challenging but solvable means half plus half plus three it is little bit challenging uh, you need some idea of the fraction like 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equals to 1 plus 3 equals to 4 right it is little bit challenging so in this way it will get the reward and it will train the proposer the task proposer that create a better task uh, so that i can get more reward i can train myself in a better way now we will move to our second uh, this second phase which is a solve phase so if i go to the solve phase here you see absolute zero reasoner switches to solve mode it attempts to solve the proposed task now we have the task right and after that here you see that it submits an answer predicted uh, output and uh, here you see that verify the answer is checked by running it in python so it is the verify here you see okay so after that it if, if the predicted output matches the correct one then it will get the reward and what is the reward this is the accuracy reward here you see this is the accuracy reward right and uh, if i show you correct answer means the positive reward wrong but well formatted is the small penalty badly formatted is the bigger penalty okay and then after that there is a joint update means from the first half and from the second half what update we got and it will compare that and it will uh, give us the output that uh, i got this join update and it actually enables continuous self improvement without any label data means we are not giving any data we are creating the task and we are uh, solving the task and we are giving the output and we are checking that if the task was too easy or too hard and if the output is correct 
or not and if the output is correct then we if we have uh, we have done the um, execution or we have solved the task in a correct format or not okay so you see that uh, if i want to make a llm model which have the beyond human capability in that case human invention doesn't require right because human has the limited uh, data or limited capacity but if i want to make a system which have the capability beyond human in that case we have you we don't have to depend or we should not be dependent on the human okay so that's why this absolute zero resonant technique is actually amazing and i wanted to share with you this technique and i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you found helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel and we have to wait for this technique to implement in the real life because uh, they have proposed this technique some days ago some two to three days ago and now it will be uh, applicable or now and now when it will be used for that we have to wait okay so if you want to get this type of videos more don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also and see the other videos also that i have already published so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye